Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer for uh, Monday, September the 19th. It's week five in the Psalm cycle and the scripture for this service, Psalm 79. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 21. And the Song of Simeon, Luke 2, verse 29 to 32. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault and thought and word and deed and by what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O God, the nations have invaded your land. Alleluia. Psalm 79. O God, the nations have invaded your land, and they have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of ruins. They have handed over the bodies of your servants as food to feed the birds of heaven, and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out blood like water in Jerusalem. No one is left to bury the dead. We have become the taunt of our neighbors and the mockery and scorn of those who surround us. How long, O God, will you be angry forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Pour out your rage on the nations, the nations that do not know you. Pour out your rage on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have destroyed the family of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and laid waste the land where they dwell. Do not blame us for the sins of our ancestors. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, so we are left in the depths of distress. O God, our Savior, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O Most High, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Let us see the nations round us repaid with vengeance for the blood of your servants that was shed. And let the groans of the prisoners come before you, and let your strong arm reprieve those condemned to die. Pay back to our neighbors seven times over the taunts with which they taunted you, O God. But we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks for ever and ever. We will tell your praise from age to age. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, the nations have invaded your land. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish you had become kings so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as though sentenced to death because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we are in disrepute. To the present hour we are hungry and thirsty, and we are poorly clothed, and beaten, and homeless, and we grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I'm not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have ten thousand guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus I became your father, 
through the gospel, I appeal to you then, be imitators of me. For this reason I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus. I teach them everywhere in every church, but some of you thinking that I am not coming to you have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. What would you prefer? Am I to come with you, to you with a stick, or with love in a spirit of gentleness? Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>